Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're tuning in from. Do me a favor and tell me if I am sideways, please. I'm hoping I'm not, but you never know. Um, having trouble with Facebook. So I was just hosting the morning wake up call for a fantastic community of entrepreneurs that I am a part of, my family. And I was going to go live in on the fan page for everyone, but Facebook is doing some really weird things. Last time I tried to go live in this group, there was no go live button. Today, I checked it last night and I'm like, yay, there's a go live button. So when I went to go live right after doing the hosting the call, the go live button is still there, but I press it and it says, check your internet connection. Yet, I can go live from my profile. So that is a glitch with Facebook. My apologies. I got to put on my glasses. You can tell me if I'm sideways. Yes, I'm, I'm sideways. Thank you. Then I am going to do this. All right. So anyway, you guys, thanks for letting me know that, Judy. So this, this topic today of the call is something I'm incredibly passionate about because I have, in the last couple of years, I've really discovered what my purpose is, and that is to empower others to live a life full of passion, to really live a life doing things they want to do, but not only that, be able to profit from it at the same time. There is nothing better to spend your days doing things that make you truly, truly happy and be able to profit from it at the same time so that you are not spending all day long in a cubicle doing a job that makes you miserable and then just dreaming about the things you would rather be doing, right? So anyone can do this. So I went over in the call, I went over some questions you need to ask yourself. It's not hard to find your purpose. I know a lot of people struggle with it for years, but if you simply ask yourself these simple questions and then go for it, let the universe step in. When the universe knows your intention, the universe will do what it can do to provide opportunities for you. So ask yourself these simple questions. What is it I love to do? What makes me happy? What makes my blood start pumping? When I'm still laying in the bed, what do I want to be doing all day long? You know, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it be traveling, golfing, you know, playing bingo for heaven's sakes. If you love to play bingo, you can play bingo and find a way to profit from it. Give bingo tips. I don't know. Get creative. But you can really, you can profit almost out of anything. So that's the thing. When, when you can profit off doing what you already love, there's no way you're going to live a life, a boring, uh, unfulfilled life. So what I also wanted to talk about, hey guys, getting paid to be you. Exactly, Yolanda. Absolutely love that. So if you've ever, if you haven't read this book, I haven't read the book, but I was introduced to the five top things that people regret when they are dying, their regrets. And I, this hit me like a ton of bricks when I heard these, what people's regrets were, because it absolutely changed the way I want to live my life, right? So it was, I wish I had more fun. I wish I spent more time with the people I love. I wish I laughed more. I wish I lived the life that I wanted to lead, not the life that other people expected of me. Right, so that hit me like a ton of bricks. Nowhere on that list did it say, I wish I had kept a cleaner house. Nowhere on that list. <laughs> no one has ever had that regret when they're dying, right? So I will actually say this, when I have clients and I'll say, so did you do what you were supposed to do to grow your business today? And they're like, well, no, I had other things to do. I'm like, oh, really? Like what? And they're like, I've actually had a few people say this. Well, I needed to clean my house. So I will tell them about this book and I will say, nobody lays on their deathbed and says, my big regret in life, I wish I had had a cleaner house. Said no one ever. They say things like, I wish I had lived a kick-ass life, fulfilled my purpose, you know, helped others, spent way more time doing the things I love to do, 
right? Then you're not going to lay there and have all these regrets. I don't want to have regrets. This is why I decided one of my big passions was to travel. I've wanted to do this since I was a little kid, just to be able to pick up and go traveling whenever I wanted, right? So when I hit middle age, when I had my midlife realization, I realized if I was going to make that dream come true, it was now or never. Because I was 43 years old, I was not getting any younger, I'm not going to wait until I hit that age. So there's something my mom said one time that actually makes me, it, I think of it often. She's not really into um, her health that much. And I, my dad and I were talking to her and we're like, well, when? When are you going to start looking after yourself, eating better, eating healthier? And she goes, when I'm older. Well, that made me real. That was a kick in the pants for me. And I realized if I wanted stuff to happen in my life, it had to be now, not when I'm older, because I'm 47 years old. What am I waiting for? Right? So figure out what you are passionate about. Figure out how you can monetize on it. Hey, Jennifer. Figure out how you can monetize off doing what you absolutely love to do, what you absolutely want to be doing anyway, and go and make it happen. You've got, you might have to get creative. You know, you might be thinking, well, you know, um, you know my purpose isn't that big. I want to spend my days whatever it may be. I don't care how small it is, walking on the beach. All right, you want to spend your days on the beach? Then become a lifestyle marketer. Find something you can promote that is kind of congruent with that. Be a lifestyle marketer, okay? So you could, I don't care if it's you want to make start making crafts out of seashells. So you're spending time on the beach and making crafts out of seashells and selling them online. Or you could work for a travel MLM. You could have a travel blog. So many things when you can promote the fact that, hey, I'm on the beach right now, working a couple hours, making some money, right? Then people will ask you how you're making that happen. And you can A, teach them how to do it. B, bring them into if you are in a travel business opportunity. I am not. That's not why I'm telling you this. But get creative on how you can profit off what you love to do. I mean, whether it be baking, for heaven's sakes. Oh my God, I have a girlfriend who lives to bake. Awesome. So she can either bake stuff, sell it at the farmer's market, uh, or you could have a Facebook group where you give baking tips. You could become an affiliate of some kind of baking thing. You could become an Amazon affiliate and promote books on baking make a commission on that. You could make create your own recipe book on your top 100 baking recipes. Promote the crap out of that. Make some money doing that. You could have a baking blog where you can be the Amazon affiliate, um, sell your own baking cookbook. So many ways. You could host baking workshops in your local area. You could create tours going to France where you're all going to go there and learn how to bake from the top bakers in France, right? Think big. Oh my God. If you want to live your passion, think small. Also think big, right? You can do things locally and on a small scale or you can go big. That's what I do. I do some smallish kind of things, but I've also got such big projects in the work in the works so that I can absolutely live my passion and do it from anywhere in the world, right? Hey, Lisa, how's it going? So everybody has something that makes them truly happy. Just realize what it is and have the courage to go after it, no matter what people say, because there are always going to be people in your life who are going to go, well, that's kind of dumb. You're never going to make money doing that. You should probably just keep your job, even though it makes you miserable and you, you know, you don't like your boss, whatever it may be. Don't listen to those people because the truth is there are always going to be people who kind of want to keep you down. A lot of people, when you realize, you know, your life's desires and you start going after it, it makes other people uncomfortable. 
Why? Because they have things they'd like to be doing. They have hopes, dreams, desires, but maybe they don't have the courage to follow them. So therefore, they kind of don't want to see you following them, right? Sometimes it's hard for some people, personality flaw, it's hard for some people to watch other people having success. There are some people who are like, oh my God, I'm so happy for you that you have found your purpose, following your passion, make money doing it and living the life of your dreams. There are other people who will go, well, shit, I want that, but um, I don't really have the guts to do it. So I'm going to choose to remain miserable and I'm going to try to make you unhappy and feel bad about going after your dreams because I don't have the guts to do it. Don't listen to those people. That will cause you to be on your deathbed going, oh my God, I shouldn't have listened to negative Nancy. I should have listened to my gut, to my instinct, what the universe was telling me, right? No regrets. Decide from this day forward, no regrets. Live the life you want to live. Have the courage to create that life. It is entirely up to you. It's a hundred percent up to you. You have the power to do it. You just got to decide and make it happen. Don't listen to those who want to keep you down. Surround yourself with the people who have the same intention in life, who are on the same life path, who too are going after what they want. Those are the people you want to be around. Those are going to be the help, the people who help lift you up and help you live, live at a higher vibration. And I'm telling you, once you experience life at a really high vibration, you will never be satisfied ever again living a life at a lower vibration. I call it buzzing. You know, when you're living life at a really high vibration, I call it buzzing. And it's the only way to live. Yeah, you left those types behind. That's good, Jennifer. And we all know somebody like that. You got to get rid of them out of your life, right? Because I'm telling you, when you get rid of those people, you go after your dreams, your desires, you create your perfect life, you will never ever allow yourself to live any other way again. And I'm telling you, it is ridiculously empowering. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I call it buzz buzzing. There are times when... I'll just be sitting there. It happens when I'm driving because I kind of go into a meditative state and I go into a very reflective state and I go through a lot of gratitude. I'm a big believer in gratitude. So I'll just like burst out in tears while I'm driving down the highway just out of sheer frigging gratitude for what my life has become, for having the guts to pursue what I wanted I am so freaking grateful. I had no idea a few years ago that I was capable of this. Everyone is. You got to put on your big girl or big boy panties and go for it. And you're going to be absolutely amazed at just how freaking capable you are. If you don't realize that you have the power to do this, then you're listening to something in your subconscious that is holding you back. You've got to stop listening to whatever it is in your subconscious that's telling you, you can't do that or I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, all that shit, you gotta stop listening to that. My big thing was um, I didn't think I was smart enough to do something this big as what I'm doing now. I really didn't. So I kept my goals ridiculously low because I did not think I had the intelligence level to create what I've been able to create for myself. And I know it's a common one that holds back many, many people. It's the self-doubt or they think they're not good enough. That is bullshit. You've got to stop listening to that crap in your, in your mind. You've got to reverse it. When you find yourself saying something like that to yourself, you've got to go, no, shut up. You're out of here. And change the thoughts in your mind to the opposite. I am smart enough. I am good enough. All that kind of stuff. Because God damn it, you are good enough and you're smart enough. And you don't know it until you go for it. And then suddenly you go, oh my God, look what I've been able to accomplish. Wow. And then you're going to start living life at such a freaking high vibration. And you become so empowered that there's nothing to hold you back. Nothing to hold you back. So I'm hoping to encourage people to kind of go for 
their passion. Follow your passion. It makes life so much sweeter, so much sweeter, so much more fulfilling. And that's the only way to live, right? What if we only do have one life, right? Also, I also very much believe that this life that you're living now, you are meant to find your purpose and to live it, right? The universe wants that for you. So you've got to do your part of the deal, find out what your purpose is, find your passion and have the courage to live it. And the universe is going to do what it can to make it happen. I'm telling you, it's it's unbelievable. I mean, the opportunities, once I kind of realized what I wanted to do and everything, whoops, um, oh, didn't realize my soda was doing that, sorry. Um, once I had the courage to actually just go after what I really wanted, the universe just started throwing all these fantastic people and opportunities my way. It's absolutely magical. So go for it. I'm, oh my gosh, go for it, you guys. Don't let anyone hold you down, hold you back, tell you you can't, because you absolutely can't. It's 100% your choice, the way you live your life, the, the future you create. You get to create whatever you want. Okay, so go out and make it happen. Yeah, oh my God, life is sweet when you go for what you want. Anyway, have an amazing day, you guys. Hey, Paula, how's it going? Life is too short to wait. That is right. That is absolutely right, Michelle. You know, the thing, the tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. You know what? Tomorrow never comes. There's only today. Because tomorrow is tomorrow. It's always tomorrow, right? But you got today. You've got today. That's what you have to work with. Don't wait. Because here's the thing I always tell clients. It's like, all right. So, how are you going to feel if you don't do what you need to do? How are you going to feel a year from now when you're in the same place, right? You're going to go, oh, God, I wish I had done what I needed to do to make my dreams happen. I wish I'd started taking action a year ago, the first time I made that decision, right? The longer you wait, the longer you're pushing it off into the future, right? And also, here's another thing. If you keep pushing it off to the future, at some point, you might just go, you know what? Forget it. It's too late. I'm too old. Now I'm too old to live the life of my dreams. And then what do you get? Then you've got a whole bunch of regrets. So no more waiting. You do it now. Okay? Awesome, you guys. Have an amazing day. I hope you take ste uh, steps towards what you truly, truly want Starting right now, if you're not already living this life, I know many of you are already living this life. If you're not, go for it. Just don't listen to anyone who wants to hold you back. Just go for what you want. Figure out how to monetize it so you can spend your days doing what you want to do, what truly makes you happy. I will never live any other way ever, ever again. See my new place? I'm not going to show you too much because I'm still organizing it. But I'm in my new bachelorette pad. It absolutely rocks. It's a bachelorette or bachelor pad. So it's like one big room. So the curtained off room there is the bedroom. And then I've got a full on kitchen. Uh, of course, a bathroom. It's just perfect for me this way. So I got rid of my house, which was 27 and 2,750 square feet on half an acre. I no longer wanted to look after the yard or look after such a big house because I'm traveling all the time because that is what I want to do. So I got myself a smaller place, a bachelorette pad. I have my own yard and get this, I don't even have to look after it. So this house is on some fabulous people's property, beautiful piece of property. Uh, I have my own yard, don't have to look after it. I'm 20 seconds from the lake where I like to kayak. Just behind the house are all the trails where I get to, they go right up to a rock quarry swimming in the summer. They go right up to a small mountain where I love to hike. Um, oh my God, I'm five minutes now from the ocean. I was a minute from the ocean. Now I'm a whole five minutes from the ocean, but closer to the lake. It's absolutely perfect. And you know what? I made this happen. I manifested this. I live in an area where there's nothing to rent. There's no apartments, townhouses, nothing. I manifested this. I made this happen. 
So if I can do this, I kid you not, you can too. Anyone can do this. Make a decision. Go for it, no matter what. Awesome, you guys. That's it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing day. I love you guys. Bye for now.